Hey, what's up, guys? Ryan here from uh, WorldMinus1.net. Um, just wanted to show you guys my NES collection. I mean, I've been collecting for about a year and a half or so, probably closer to two, and kind of just realize it's kind of blown up. So, just want to kind of show off what I got and you know all the stuff. I mean, I'm getting, I've been getting a couple messages on like the YouTube of like you know, I'm emulating stuff and blah 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 or whatever. So, just want to show you guys. I kind of, you know, I have what I play. So. Here we go, we can get started. This, this is going to be in uh, two parts because I have so many games. Um, you'll see my setup and what I'm doing, so here we go. Uh, so we start off from the beginning. You're not too crazy, it's simple, simple, simple. You know, eight eyes, boy and his blob. These two games right here, I got um, Action 52. Oh, I can take these out of the case. Here's the Action 52 that everybody knows and loves. There you go, Action 52. You know, the back's all clear and stuff. Kind of weird looking. Now here's the special one. Here's my special version of Action 52. Action 52 on this side. You turn it around, you got Cheetah Man 2 on that side. Yeah, this one's pretty crazy. So, that's a cool one. I'll deal with you later. Um... Moving on, All right, so you got the Adams Family games, you know, Dungeons and Dragons, Adventure Island. That's Adventure Island's classics. That was PAL exclusive. I think it's just Adventure Island one, but it's the PAL formatted version. Um, you know, Tension game. I don't know, Afterburner. I think. Uh, here's Aladdin. That game didn't come out out here. That's a PAL game. Uh, American Gladiators. Uh, yeah, that, this mess of a cartridge is a. Uh, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I'm gonna get a better version of that soon. Aussie Rules Footy, uh, pretty cool rugby game. It's a pal, pal one too. Uh, Back to the Future games, Balloon Fight, Barbie. You guys, hope you guys have seen my video on that. That's a, it's a gem for sure. <clears throat> um, baseball, all the baseball games, baseball simulator, baseball, Cyber City, something, Base Wars. Baseball Stars. These two, those two Jaleco games are both bases loaded one. Um, that's two different labels, so I kept them both. They're, you know, one, two, three, and four. Batman. The Batman games are always good. My Battle Kid uh, Fortress Apparel. Uh, I don't have the second one in this stack because I'm still playing it. Uh, there's both Battle Toad games. Alpha Chicken. That's another good one. It's a hidden gem in the collection. Uh, nothing too crazy here. Blades of Steel is one of the best hockey games I've ever played. Bomberman 1 and 2. Four player action. You can play the second game. Bonk's Adventure. Yeah, pretty expensive. Uh, pretty nice. It's expensive. I, I got it for pretty cheap. I found it in a box. Um, it's a rare one. It's a fun one. It's a good game. Uh, Bubble Bobble. It's a, another awesome game. Bucky O'Hare is one of the best platformers I've played in a while. Buzz and Wall Dog, it's bl uh, this one's blue, it's a reproduction I got off the internet. So is this one, This uh, that blue thing right there in the middle is uh, California Raisins, it's a reproduction. That white guy is uh, the Caltron 6-in-1. Uh, turn the corner here. You know, again, the Castlevanias are always a must in any collection. Chiller is a pretty cool game, both Rescue Rangers. And Color of Dinosaurs, a little coloring game for the kids. You know, Contra, Contra Force. Uh, there's nothing to say. I mean, a lot of these games, honestly, I haven't really put that much effort or time into yet. Um, Devil World's a good one. It's like a Pac-Man style uh, game. It was a PAL exclusive. It's a fun one. All the Donkey Kongs. There's the Junior Math. Double Dragons. There's Jekyll and Hyde. You guys know how good that game is. Uh, the four dragon warriors, you know, both Ducktales, Emperor. I had, this is the Empire Strikes Back. I have it under E because that's what's on the uh, end label. Um, when I get all the games, I'll you know I'll put it with S for Star Wars, but that's where it is on my list. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Felix the Cat. This one I actually think I need a new version of. Like part of the inside like broke, so the chip doesn't stay in the, in place. It still plays fine, but I have to take the chip out of the cartridge. All the Fisher Price games. Here's uh, the Flintstones. Flintstones surprised the Dino Peak there in the middle. Uh, guy, you know, I just put that video up a little while ago. 
G.I. Joe's. Gem Fire is a fun one. The Ghostbusters. Ghosts and Goblins. That game's hard. You know, both Godzillas. Uh, Gradius there at the bottom. Uh, Waldo. Yeah, everyone. Growing up, I was a big Waldo kid, so. I like those. Gun Knacks, one of the. One of, it's an underrated shooter. Good one. Top scrolling, I think. Hollywood Squares. Ugh. Ice Hockey's pretty good. Here's the Ikari, I'm, Ikari Warriors. I'm Kid Dracula. Another reproduction off of a Famicom game. Same name. Uh, I have three of the Indiana Jones games. Missing the Ubisoft version of The Last Crusade. International Cricket. Uh, another PAL exclusive. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm any good. Cause I don't know how to play cricket. So I don't know if I'm good or not. James Bond. Jetsons. Jetsons is a good one. Uh, made by Taito. It seems like Taito had the uh, the rights to the Hanna-Barbera cartoons. So they made pretty good games. I see. I, I wouldn't mention like, these weird black games and stuff. But I can't see them. And I don't want to feel like looking at them. You know, uh, here's Kid Clown. Another hidden gem in the NES library. It's a good one. You guys should check it out. Emulate it. Steal it. I don't care. Just don't take mine. Right, Kirby. Krusty's Funhouse. Uh, I've only played the Genesis version. I'm assuming it's pretty close to the same. You know, the gray and gold Zelda lemmings. This guy there at the bottom is the Lion King. Uh, it's in German. Another PAL exclusive that I got. Uh, oh, here, yeah, here we got uh, Little Red Hood. This one I do want to show you guys because it's different. If you guys have seen the Angry Video Game Nerd, like his version, it's like a weird piggyback cartridge. But this one, you can see it's just a normal cartridge. It's got a top on it. Pretty neat little, pretty neat cartridge. It has the box too. The box looks like a um, an old Disney like VHS tape like box, like real, like big white and padded. You know, some Mario Mario Bros. Arcade. That's always fun for you know two people. I don't have Mario's Time Machine yet. I'm working on that one. Here's Maxi 15 on top. A yeah, good uh, good staple of any good NES collection. The Mega Man's right there. All six of them. Uh, both uh, yeah, Metroid have both labels of Metroid. I'm not sure which one's rare or what, but they're different, so kept them both. So yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna cut it off here, and then I'm going to basically just swap everything out. Cause you can see right now all these boxes and stuff. This is where I keep all my all the games were in there. So and I'm gonna put all these games on the desk and. See you in a minute. Hey, what's up, guys? This is the uh, second half of the uh, Nintendo Collection video. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to mix it all together, but if I don't, this is like the beginning of the second half. So, here we go. Um, start off with one of the best games I've ever played in my life. Uh, this is an actual, you know, PAL B formatted Mr. Gimmick on the Nintendo. It's uh, in pretty good shape. Um, I also I have the I have the uh, the uh, box and manual to this one too. One of the best games ever. I highly suggest it to anybody. Again, another PAL exclusive. Seems like the PAL games are always really good. I think the exclusives were always good. Okay, my, yeah, nothing too special here. Miss, the the Namco Miss Pac-Man. Uh, it's a good one. Nightmare on Elm Street. That game isn't very good. The Ninja Gaiden series. The NES World Cup, Nobunaga's Ambition. Oh, here's a uh, Nomolo Storm in the Capsule. It's a uh, it's a new uh, homebrew game. It's pretty good. Uh, that's a good one. There's the uh, both Tengen versions of Pac-Man with the Namco version underneath it. Uh, I think that one. I think that black one is Pac-Mania or something. And both Paper Boys. Nothing too crazy. I, I don't have Power Blade 2. I'm looking for that one. Uh, Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom. I like that. It's a good one. Put some more kicks. Kicks is a. Good one. This is another pretty cool one I got. This is uh, the Racer Mate Challenge 2. It's a bike training program for the NES. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I have a rig and everything, and I have a manual to kind of help me. 
what's it called, to help me program everything. So I'll try, I'll try to put a video of that. I just think it's a cool little game. The three quattro uh, arcade games. There's arcade, sport, and I think adventure or something. Nothing too crazy. Rampage is a, it's a pretty, it's a decent arcade port, but it's uh, kind of repetitive. Roadrunner, I don't know what that one's really about. I mean, I'm guessing it's about the Roadrunner, but I don't, haven't played it. Rodland, another PAL exclusive. This one isn't like that great. It's still a good game though. Scat. Uh, here's the Sesame Street games. I got four. I'm missing the the, the count one. Countdown, I think. Shockwave, Tim Company, The Chiller, Silver Surfer, everyone knows how good that game is, right? Bar vs. The, oh, here's the Three Simpson games, I seem is awful. Sim the, the top one is Bart, Meet Radioactive Man, and then Mutants in the World, Smash TV, uh, Snow Brothers, it's a good one. Stack up. Um, I don't have the uh, the stack up blocks for the robot, so I can't really play that one yet. Um, yeah, Super Contra. Okay, here's here's a pretty cool one. He's, he's a triple cart. It's um. Most people are familiar with this guy. This God, this thing is not going in. Um, it's Mario Brothers Track Meet and Duck Hunt. This is like the PAL version of that, I think. And this is uh, Mario Brothers Tetris and World Cup. It's pretty neat. Super Mario uh, Bros. 2J, which is the reproduction of the uh, the real Super Mario Brothers 2 from Japan. Which I actually do have that game on the Famicom Disk System, which is kind of neat. Uh, Superman. Uh, the Three Turtles games. You know, one, two, you know, one, the arcade game, and then Manhattan Project. Uh, that little guy right there in the middle under Terra Cresta is the Tengen Tetris. Here's normal Tetris, Tetris 2, uh, the Stooges, the fabulous Thunderbirds. So you, uh, you should probably get like a new, get a better version of that. Um, the Tiny Toon Adventure games are always fun. Toki's good. Uh, Toxic Crusaders. I'm a big fan of the Toxic Avenger, so any game with Toxie in it, I'm in. Track and Field 1 and 2, uh, Euphoria, another PAL exclusive, is one of the better games I've played again. I mean, it just seems like the sun, another Sunsoft game as well. Uh, Sunsoft nailed it with their games. They're all really good. I think I'm missing one of the Ultima games. I'm not sure. I'm thinking Warriors or something. I don't know. Uh, the Uncanny X-Men. Uh, I, I should put that under X, but on my list it's under U for Uncanny X-Men, so I'll leave it there. Um... Wall Street Kid, Wario's Woods, Vi oh, Vice Project Doom, that's a good one, Werewolf, you know, the Wheel of Fortune games, just three or four of them, yeah, four of them, Where in Time is Coming, Where's Waldo is probably one of the worst games that I've ever played, uh, and I've played some pretty bad ones in my time, Wizards and Warriors, Wrecking Crew, it's a good classic, uh, Worm, all the wrestling games. King of the Ring, WrestleMania, WrestleMania Challenge, the Steel Cage Challenge. I went down to Yonoid. Yonoid's a hard one. I actually might work on that one. Young Indiana Jones Chronicles, uh, The Gold, uh, Adventures of the Link, Zoda's Revenge, which is, I think, Star Tropics 2. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my collection. Um, I'm. I might do a little bit more of like my boxes and stuff. I got uh, close to like 60 boxes maybe. Some pretty cool ones. So uh, stay tuned. Hope you guys liked it. Um, thank you for watching and please subscribe and blah, blah, blah.